at the Turkish Somalia Task Force Command in Mogadishu. Some 6,000 Somali military personnel have been trained by the Turkish military since 2017. After three years of training, they will graduate and join their army as first lieutenants. We are here to help train the next generation of Somali soldiers. We are also providing security for the base. We also teach them about Turkish culture and heritage. As a soldier, I am proud to be doing this work. The Turkish Ministry of Defense says the Joint Task Force aims to strengthen ties between the two countries and improve organization, training, education, military infrastructure, and logistics of the Somali army. I'm doing a six-month tour here in Somalia. Our country sent us here with all the resources we need to support the Somali people in the best way we can. Our president wants the Somali people to know that we have a historic relationship and Turkey will always stand by their side. Bilateral military cooperation has significantly increased over the past decade and it's become an even higher priority in light of recent regional developments. We're at the back door of the joint task force here in Mogadishu where Somali and Turkish military forces have set up a training base and training academy. They're also here in this region for another very important purpose and that is to protect this very strategic body of water. This is the Indian Ocean you see here and it goes towards Adan and then towards the Red Sea. And this has become a major flashpoint in international uh, politics, especially with the war in Gaza ongoing and the Houthis in Yemen interjecting themselves into the conflict by stopping ships, attacking ships that are connected to Israel, the United States and the United Kingdom. And Turkey and Somalia have recently signed a strategic agreement, economic and security agreement, uh, that would allow Turkish military forces to help the Somali forces patrol these waters and secure them and prevent any further instability in the region. 230 Somali cadets are currently undergoing computer and Turkish language lessons alongside their military training, skills they need to effectively cooperate with their Turkish counterparts. All data is now digital and we don't use hard copies like before, so all soldiers need to have strong digital skills. That's why we are teaching them how to collect, secure and distribute digital data effectively. Down the hall from the computer lab, a Turkish lesson is underway. 23-year-old Hani wants to be a professional soldier, and she says she has high aspirations for her military career. I am a first-stage cadet at the War College. It's my dream to become a soldier. I'm so grateful that Somalia and Turkey made this possible. My goal as a soldier is to one day become a pilot. That's why I need to learn to speak Turkish better so I can go to Turkey and train with the Air Force. Our trainers and instructors are helping us pursue such dreams. Somalia's president, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, has attended a graduation ceremony of personnel from a Turkish training program. The two countries say they will continue fulfilling their bilateral agreements while exploring new avenues for joint cooperation. Obaidehito, TRT World, Mogadishu, Somalia.